Hello everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about when animate a brand new model that allows you to replace any character in any video with almost perfect lip sync and audio. To start, let's see a quick example with an audio made by a guy called AI Girl Videos. Hey guys, I'm one of the AIs here at AI Girl Videos and today we're going to switch it up by sharing with you some... The video on the left side is the source video that I created with Infinite Talk. And the video in the middle is the video that was created with when animate and the image on the right is of course the uh, reference image that i used okay so let's start by reviewing the workflow like all of my other workflows this workflow is linear and it goes from the left to the right so let's start from the leftmost side we got the when animate model here along with an accelerator laura the animate relight LoRa for keeping the lighting consistent across the videos. We got the clip vision, the clip and the VAE, which is standard for all the WEN workflows. And if you're lazy and don't want to see the video, there is a very short tutorial right here as this workflow is pretty straightforward. Okay, that's great. Let's move on to step two. Now in step two, you have to, of course, load in your reference image that you want to replace in the video. Now, what I like to do is I used some nodes here that extract the face from the reference video. Um, if you don't do that and you use the entire image as the reference image, it can transfer the clothes from the reference image to the final video, which I like to avoid. If you do not want to do that, you can simply take the image output from the reference image node and connect it to the reference image node and then it will use the entire image as a reference. If you don't do that, the image that is going to be used is only the face image right here. After you loaded in your reference image, load in your reference video, and make sure that the frame rate that you're using is the, sa the same frame rate as the video. You can leave it at zero, and then it will just default to the original frame rate, but I like to lock it in just to be safe, so 25. And the full video is around 400 frames. I changed it to 161. This is just an arbitrary number. It doesn't mean anything. I just wanted that my generation will be faster just to assess the quality. Uh, generally, I would just set it to zero to get the full frames. See, that's 397. And if you just want to test, you can uh, low, uh, you can, sorry, you can lock the frames to something, to a smaller number just so you can test and then after you're, you're content with the results, you can change it to zero and get the full frames. After that, we're gonna write our prompt. So this is a pretty simple and straightforward prompt. A woman is confidently speaking about a hub for social media creators. Uh, she's wearing a purple spaghetti strap top, which is what we got in the final video. And another thing before you proceed is the video size and length. Now, these are automatically determined by the uh, size, the width, the height, and the uh, length of the uh, video that you uploaded. But if you want to fix them manually, you can just disconnect the, uh, the get nodes. So you got the get source video width, get source video height, and get source video frames. You can just disconnect them from the nodes and write whatever you want. Let me, let me connect that back. And once you click uh, run, it's going to show you the width, height, and frame length of the video that you uploaded just to be safe. Next up, we got the video masking. Now, the default, uh, the default workflow from Comfy UI comes with the points editor node. It is not in this workflow. I changed it up so the masking happens automatically. So I'm going to mask the hair, the face, and the body. And then you can see the masks right here. I think it's easier. There's really no reason to do this manually each time you want to generate a new video. So the masking here happens automatically. What I did notice sometimes that, let, let's look at the example again. If the hairstyles are distinctly different, then sometimes they can be masked incorrectly. If this happens and you get some artifacts around the hair, what you want to do is go to the Grow Mask node and expand the mask a little bit more just so it covers the hair. So you can go from 10 to 12 to 15 and you can preview the masks right here and make sure that the hair is covered in the masks. And once you're content with the mask, the video that you uploaded and everything, you can just click Run and you'll get the final result just as I showed you 
right here, you get the comparison video uh, right here. And if you want to just uh, get the video that you created, you can you see it right here and you can just click the three dots and download the video. This is it. This is the workflow from start to finish. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it. Take care. Goodbye. If you are a Hideout member, you also get access to an exclusive workflow that combines the power of WAN 2.2 and WAN Animate. Using a simple text prompt, we generate the video using WAN 2.2 with the LoRa of our choice or a few LoRa's. So for this demo, I took the Bouncy Walk LoRa from Civit AI and I generated the initial video. Then automatically in the same workflow, using my reference image, I generated another video using my character. And of course, the final video is upscaled and interpolated, so you get a beautiful video that you can share instantly wherever you want. This is exclusive to the Hideout members, and if you don't know what the Hideout is, the Hideout is an exclusive space for creators to collaborate on Discord. This is a place where I share my own personal workflows, so if you want to join, there's a link below that you can uh, join through my Patreon. And that's it. Thank you very much. Wish you a nice day. Goodbye.